All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and gals, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. First things first, if you guys didn't watch uh, the video day before yesterday, the last video I posted, make sure you guys go check it out. I'll leave it in the description below or you guys can just go to my page. It's the video before this. Make sure you guys go check it out. It's a video where we gave Carson a couple sick tattoos and uh, gave myself a tattoo. I thought it was a sick video idea. It didn't do as well as I wanted it to do, but I'm gonna tell you guys to go watch it right now if you guys for some reason didn't go check it out. I thought it was a cool idea. I feel like it came out sick and I feel like it deserves some love. So make sure you guys go check it out. Shout out to Carson. That was a very sick video, dude. So uh, today's video is going to be Supreme and Lacoste. I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I grabbed. Again, I wasn't too crazy about any of this stuff for my personal collection. It just doesn't really have that like awe factor to it for me. So I'm going to try to be as lively as I can and not dull things down anymore, uh, you know, than I already feel about them. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like and what it looks like like in person and what you guys can expect if you copped any of this stuff yourself dude if you guys haven't been to Prime population stop what you're doing and go to instagram and check it out man shout out to everybody on there that already makes it what it is you guys know i love you and appreciate you all if you guys have not been there you guys are into supreme or aftermarket supreme buying selling raffles anything like that make sure you guys go check it out man it's a huge family on there i love everybody on there that's my baby i kindle that i use it and nurture it every single day and it's something that i take a lot of pride in and uh, we put a lot of time and effort into so shout out to Prime population make sure you guys go check it out man and let's get into this video first things first we're gonna start at the top with the clothes there's a crew neck and a jacket and then we'll work our way down from there dude first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the crew neck right here now out of all the items that dropped I feel like the crew neck had the best resale value or just hit the best with like the community and the aftermarket world the crew neck was one of the better items to cop this is the tan one right here here. Now, my personal favorite is the pink that I'll show you, but a lot of people have been digging this tan. So as we talked about in the preview, you guys get a lot of tonal action with a lot of these clothes and the crew neck's no different. You got tonal embroidery on the front, it says Supreme, and then Lacoste Sports Paris since 1933. With the video quality, I'm not sure how well you can read it in person. It's pretty straight up and easy to read on here, even though it's tonal. And then you guys got the little alligator right there on the front as well. And then all of these, uh, clothes come with the Lacoste tags because these are printed on Lacoste coding. You got like two, three Lacoste tags on here and then you got this little loop tag on here as well. And then of course the Supreme tag. So nothing too crazy. A lot of these clothes are very subtle and very simple but you know if Lacoste is your thing and that alligator is like your little thing then I'm sure uh, these would be hitters for you guys. Dude here is the brown crew neck and then the pink one is right here. The pink one was my favorite out of all the colors that dropped. I feel like it was pretty much a fan favorite as well you got the pink crew neck and then the tonal pink writing same thing supreme lacoste paris 1933 and then you got the alligator up at the top as well dude so very simple crew necks down here at the bottom i have no idea what this is for but you guys got like this little zipper action right here you can pull this down and then i i don't know stuff shit inside there i'm not sure what you would put inside there besides very small bags of drugs but uh i wouldn't personally do that but i'm just saying you could do that if you wanted to dude so very simple simple crew necks but uh, again I feel like those did the best out of like pretty much all the clothes that dropped. Another thing we have is an anorak right here. I did not mean to even get this anorak. I'm not gonna lie I tried to get a green one. It didn't happen and then this one just fell in my lap. I paid retail for it so I was like you know what I'll grab it. I'll take it home and I'll put it on the video dude. So this is a medium. I'm not gonna lie this thing looks pretty small for a medium dude. I'm not sure if the Lacoste you would need to size down or what the deal is with that. A lot of people have been asking me about the sizing. I put on the large crew neck. It fits pretty much like a large, not exactly like a Supreme large. It is a little bit smaller, dude. But here's the black anorak. You got this uh, 3M or this reflective grid pattern going all the way through it. On the front in the Bristol area, you have the alligator and then flip and dip on the back is where you get your branding, dude. I think it's sick. All the way across the back, you have fat embroidery, so you can't really go wrong with that. I do like this piece. Again, it's just not for my uh, personal taste. You have some buttons down here that opens up and you have a full like pouch on the kangaroo area and then you have a fourth zip going down right here these were 208 retail dude you know if you like lacoste and this is your personal thing by all means go after it i just feel like resale wise and like aftermarket wise a lot of this stuff didn't really do that well but that's cool dude you know sometimes this stuff is better left on the shelves and better left on the website for people who 
fuck with it and want it for their personal collection, I got no problem with that. I love that. You know, if it's your thing and you like it, fuck the hype, fuck what other people think. If you want to cop it for yourself and wear it, then by all means handle your scandal, dude. That was all the Lacoste clothes that I got. Like I said in the preview, I wasn't feeling the velour stuff. I didn't grab any of that stuff. I saw some of that stuff in person. It looked well, but uh, I just didn't pull the trigger and grab any of it, dude. Let's get into the hat. And uh, we have a couple Lacoste hats and the camp hat let drop. Let's get into it. First thing up is the Lacoste velour crusher hat, dude. Now, I could do this velour right here on the hat. I just don't know about the full sweatsuit. I don't really have the pimp swag like that. But this thing's dope for the summertime, dude. You know, the sun's beating down on your shoulders, on your head. You're at the pool, at the beach, at the lake, whatever. Uh, this is a dope little piece to have. On the other side, you have Supreme all embossed, embroidered all the way across. These things were 60 bucks. Not too bad. Orange, black, whatever you're feeling. Throw this on your head when you go to the pool. This is a dope little piece for sure. And then we got two more Lacoste hats right here. One of them is the grid hat that goes with the anorak and the pants. I wish I got the anorak and the pants in green. I only ended up with the camp hat in green, but you know, you can't win them all, dude. So you got the grid pattern all the way over it. And then on one side, you have Supreme all embroidered. And then on the other side, that's where you have the alligator. And then on the back, you got like this little pinch clasp that you pull to make this tighter or more loose. And then you got the 3M reflective uh, grid pattern all the way over it, dude. So I grabbed one crusher, one 3M hat, and one dad hat or one curve brim. I wish I would have got a couple more of these curve brins. I feel like out of all the hats that drop, the curve brin is doing the best. This is a nice hat. I'm not going to lie. It's all black canvas. You got just your little Supreme and Lacoste patch right there in the front. And then on the back, you have a normal little metal clasp right there. Doesn't get much simple and better than that, dude. So dope little six panel. Dad hat Supreme never does these. That's why I feel like they're doing fairly well and uh, a dope little hat for sure. So let's get into these suede hats right here. These were my favorite hats that drop this week, dude. I feel like eventually, even if not right now, these are going to be into the $110 and $120 range aftermarket. This lavender purple is extremely clean. You just got suede all the way throughout, dude. It's basically like a Chino Twill camp hat just with suede on it, dude. You have the nice uh, belt buckle style like leather strap on the back and then this lavender purple is absolutely beautiful. Same thing with the red, dude. This is just like a dark, dark cherry red. All suede throughout it. Very, very beautiful hat. These were 68 retail with tax. This was like a $75 hat, which is very, very expensive. Uh, but again, they are very clean and uh, these hats fit very well, last a long time. The Chino Twill or, you know, the hats that have the strap in the back are very, very nice, dude. Some dope hats that dropped this week. Let's get into the good stuff. This is my favorite part of the whole drop right here, which is the bags and the flask. So let's get into it. First thing I'm going to show you guys is the waist bag, dude. This is how it came packaged up. As soon as I saw this, like outside of the store, I I started freaking out dude and I was like yo I gotta get my hands on these dude so here's the bag right here you pull it out and then this is what it looks like dude here is the embossed on the front as I said in the preview very very easy to read dude this thing might as well be a different color or outlined in black it's very easy to read and this thing is sick dude you pull open the top pouch pull this out bam Lacoste gives you a full dust bag for these waist bag dude so if you're gonna travel with this thing or whatever and uh, you know you're putting it in your bag you're not using it while you're traveling you can throw it in this dust bag the dust bag goes right in the top just like that dude you have a fat zipper on the front and then a smaller zipper across the front right here these things are so sick dude I'm looking for some other colors if you have a green make sure you DM me on cream population I got all red at the store which I don't have a problem with those red ones are sick but damn dude those things are badass and here is the shoulder bag this thing is huge dude and so 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 sick. Definitely one of my favorite bags that have dropped from Supreme in a very, very long time. This is the black one. You got the embossed on the front and then you just have a pouch right here which has a zipper on the inside of it. And then you got the zipper that goes around the main compartment right here. I believe that there is a dust bag for the shoulder bag as well. There is. So you pull it out right here. There's a full dust bag for every single shoulder bag and every single waist bag that they did, dude. These are such sick bags. Honestly, they're probably a little bit bigger even than the shoulder bags that they dropped week one and these are badass dude I knew I was gonna want the bags and go after the bag and then after I saw them in person I just wanted them more I'm still trying to buy them right now you guys have any color bag especially red green black go to preem population DM me 
and uh, I will buy them off you guys for sure, dude. Definitely my favorite part of the drop. There's a red uh, shoulder bag right here as well. These things are so sick. I was very happy and very pleased with the bags, and uh, they are sick for sure, dude. So let's get into the last thing for this pickup video, and it is the flask, dude. First things first, there's something to complain about. People are gonna complain, dude, but honestly, this flask is sick. People were complaining because it's too small. It said 16 ounces, but it's really six. Typo, whatever it was, you cannot hate on this flask. Dude, look at the presentation. You pull this out and then you got a straight like case right here. English Pewter Company, Sheffield, England. And then it has a box logo on it right there, dude. This case is badass. You pull it off like this and then bam, dude. Look at this presentation inside, dude. First of all, this thing comes with a funnel. So if you're straight alcoholic like me, you need this funnel, dude. And then look at this like velvet fucking case that they give you, dude. It has a printed box logo on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you open it up, pull it out. This is some like like grown man like functioning alcoholic type shit right here dude and then bam here is the flask this thing is sick just about a little smaller than my hand and this thing is dope dude you screw off the top and then it's got another screw off top right here that you would unscrew put the funnel in pour your booze in there and then you got a straight uh box logo across the front of this flask right here and then on the top it says some words too it says fuck what you heard supreme MFG across the top of this thing as well, dude. So this flask is sick. As soon as I saw it in person, I was like, yo, this is a Mando cop for the personal. If anybody collects accessories or is into accessories in any way, shape, or form, this is a must cop for sure. The presentation of this flask is beautiful. The way it's put together, the packaging, everything was so, so sick, dude. I was very happy with those. If you guys have those, hit me up on Prim Population. I'm always looking to buy accessories, dude. So that's it. Couple Lacoste pieces, couple hats, couple shoulder bags, waist bags, and an accessory. Nothing too crazy. I feel like it was kind of a light week. Uh, we went out there and spent some bread. Not too much, but uh, I'm already gearing up and ready for next week, dude. So make sure you guys go check out Preem Population. You guys will have a chance to take home all these bags and clothes and hats and flats for way, 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 way under retail price. Fractions of the retail price. And uh, we'll be on there all day, every day, running lives, having fun. And uh, make sure you guys go check it out, alright? Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys. Hopefully we can upload a video tomorrow. I got a bunch of stuff around the house. I'm trying to do things in the studio, things downstairs with like my collection side of things. So we're going to try to keep it pushing. All right. Appreciate you all. Love you all. Make sure you guys like the video. Drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new and uh, go check out Preem Population, man. All right. I'll see you guys on the next one. Sleepy. I'm out. Peace.